from our upcycled life and welcome to my channel it is really hot here today in Ontario Canada it's hot and sticky and muggy so I'm just gonna do a small project today um, a fun one and it's super simple super easy I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step tutorial so you can make one for yourself um, I love a glass of red wine every once in a while I always save the bottles because this project makes great home decor a great gift um, and I'm gonna show you how to do it also, if you'd like, I'll put the link below in the description for my Facebook and my Instagram. I'm always doing stuff in my stories over there on day-to-day -day stuff that I don't actually make videos on. So if you head over there, you can see what I'm up to and follow along in my stories so you don't miss any great um, DIYs. If you like DIYs, thrifting, repurposing, you've come to the right place and we'd love to have you follow along. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great content. Okay. It's hot, so let's get started. This is a wine bottle that I'm using and I'm just going to soak the label off. I find this is the best way to get the labels off of any sort of bottles. I fill the sink up with really hot soapy water um, and then let it soak for about 10-15 minutes. After it's soaked, I like to take the back side of a butter knife and rub the label off. Um, sometimes they'll just peel off, but most of the time I find I have to scrape it off with the side of a knife. And it takes all the glue and everything right down to the glass nice and clean. It's completely dried and now I'm putting a coat of my homemade chalk paint on the base of the wine bottle and I'm just going to let that dry so I can paint the top. All ready to paint the top of the wine bottle. I'll put the link below in the description for the recipe for my homemade chalk paint. It works really well to adhere to glass. That's the only thing that I use to paint glass with um, that I've had success with. So I'm just putting a light coat, not too thick, all around the whole bottle. I've let it dry thoroughly and now I'm going to put a second coat on, again not too thick, just light and um, just coat the whole bottle so you don't see any of the glass color anymore. Another trick to have this chalk paint really adhere well to the glass is to make sure you really let it dry really well in between coats of chalk paint. So the first one I let dry really really well um, before I put this coat on. Now we're ready to decoupage some napkins on. I picked these napkins up at our Dollarama. Um, I really like the gingham uh, pattern of them. I think they were $1.25. Um, so that's what I'm going to use for the base of the bottle. I'm going to cut the napkin to the size that I want um, to go around the bottom of the bottle. And because this is a gingham pattern, I'm just kind of trying to make a straight line across the squares so it all lines up along the bottom of the wine bottle. It's still a bit thick for what I want it, so I think I'm going to take it down a couple more rows. The napkin doesn't quite reach around to the back of the bottle, so I'm going to cut another little piece and try to match up the, the pattern as best I can to fill in that little space at the back of the bottle. Now these are two ply napkins and I'm going to give you a little trick to get these two layers apart. Dip your finger in a little bit of water and then put it on the napkin and it'll pull the two parts right apart. And now I'm going to do the same. I'll just wet my corner of my finger and touch along the one edge of the napkin and it'll pull away from the layers and you can just peel them right away. Sometimes it, I'm making it kind of look easy, sometimes it's not that easy, it just takes some patience. And I still have one more layer on this one that I'm gonna, I, I think probably they might, these might have been three ply. Um, and I'm just going to take that layer off too. Mm -hmm. 
to decoupage these on. I'm using this decoupage mat from DecoArt. Um, and this is a glue sealer finish. It's the exact same as Mod Podge. I had a hard time finding Mod Podge when everything was closed, so I bought this. And actually it works just as well and I'm having just as good results. And I'm just going to start in one corner of this wine bottle. I'm not going to put all the glue all the way along. I like to do it in sections, so I'm just going to do this first section. and. Just lay the napkin right where I want it on the wine bottle. These are really thin, so you have to be careful because they'll tear really easy. So just gently get all the little wrinkles that you can out, all the little air bubbles. It's not going to be perfect. Mine are never perfect. Um, and sometimes the little wrinkles and the little air bubbles give it a little bit of character. So I just uh, take my time and just try to press them out without ripping the tissue paper. And then I'll move along and I'll just do another little area and do the same. Now I'm just going to try to line up this gingham pattern as best I can. This is going to be the back of the wine bottle, so it doesn't have to be perfect, you're not going to see it, but I should be able to line it up pretty good. And same thing, I'm going to just put a light coat of the uh, decoupage and then gently press it on and get all the wrinkles and the air bubbles out. I think this would look really nice with some um, jute cord wrapped around the bottom. So I'm just going to get the hot glue gun out and just start gluing a few layers of this jute cord around. You don't need to hot glue everywhere along the cord. Um, this first row along the bottom, I like to put a few little dabs every couple inches along the bottom and then once you get going, uh, just put a little dab at the very back and that will hold all your cord in place. I'm also going to put a little bit around the top edge also. And we're all ready to put the graphics on. I've made these graphics in PicMonkey. Um, it's a paid subscription, but I use it every day, so it's worthwhile for me. But you could make your graphics in any Word program. Just make sure that you reverse your text after you've made them. And these have to be made on a laser jet printer. It will not work on an inkjet printer. Um, and I put these, after I've made them, into my Word program, and I size them up to fit my project. I'm using this decoupage uh, mat. I had a hard time finding Mod Podge uh, when everything was closed, so I'm using this and I'm finding that it has really good results and I'm happy with it. You just want to put a light coat over all of the graphics just so um, it's not too thick and cover it all and then just gently put it on the bottle. Okay, now we want to gently put the graphics on the wine bottle. Just take your time, make sure it's centered, make sure it's not crooked. I've done lots of projects where I've rushed through and haven't taken the time and finish it all up and it's crooked. When you have it laid where you want it, gently take your fingers and press out any of the air bubbles or any little wrinkles and make sure it lays completely flat. 
Now I've let this sit overnight and I'm just going to take a damp cloth and just gently dampen the graphics until you can see the lettering show through on the paper. This is just regular computer paper. This isn't any special paper that I'm using. Um, so it's not something that you have to go out and buy anything special for. And then just gently rub away until all of the paper is gone. And just take your time. It takes a little bit of patience and uh, just if you need to dampen it, if the paper gets a little bit dry, just add a little bit more water again and just keep rubbing it off. ready to put our finish coat on. I like using this Verathane instead of the Mod Podge as a finish, um, but you can use either. I just like the, it seems to smooth it out a little bit nicer with this Verathane. And this is a matte finish, water base, and it's non-yellowing. And I'm just putting a light coat over the whole bottle. I made these hearts a while back. I'd had them on my uh, cupboard and I was waiting to use them on a project and I think this will be a perfect project for the heart to hang off the neck of the bottle. So I'm going to drill a little hole so I can put a piece of twine on it to hang it off the bottle. And I'm just going to use this jute twine from the dollar store. It makes um, for a great hanger off of uh, these little ornaments. These little hearts are so cute and I think I'm going to do a tutorial um, on how I make them because they're great at Valentine's Day, they're great for Christmas ornaments. Um, so leave a comment below if you'd like me to do a tutorial on how I made this. After I got this all put together, I thought it needed a little bit of twine along the neck of the bottle too. So I'm just going to hot glue a little bit up the neck. Um, finished. And there you have a beautiful upcycled wine bottle. I just love these. I love making them for gifts. Um, I love to have them around my home and the possibilities are endless. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I've inspired you to save all of your glass bottles to upcycle and make beautiful projects. We'd love for you to like, subscribe and follow along and make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great content. Have a good day.